Tempura has to be one of my favorite things. One of my very first jobs when I got back from Japan was for a sushi bar and I mean it was called Bamboo Sushi, super original. And I had to learn how to deep fry tempura and fry 10 pieces of shrimp at one time. That's a story for another video. But I will say, tempura, can you deep fry frozen eggs? I don't know. We're gonna try it. I hope it doesn't explode. So per request, I have frozen some eggs. The dollar for the dozen. This is what they look like now. Yes, they are cracked. Yes, they did explode. Yes, they have been frozen for about four days. Three, three days, some kind of time. But what I wanna do is I actually wanna to try to tempura fry these frozen eggs just like Soma did, but I also soft boiled some other eggs. So we're gonna deep fry both of these and compare the two. Now, I have tempura fried or deep fried something like this before, and I know they come out really, really nicely, and they don't have to fry as long, and they don't need as thick of a batter. From what I've seen for these really hard frozen eggs, you're gonna need a little bit of a thick batter. So when you start with tempura, you gotta start with the batter. And for that, we're gonna need some pastry or cake flour, something incredibly light, a little bit of cornstarch, some fizzy water, and a little bit of ice. So for this tempura batter, we're gonna need about a cup of cake flour because we're not gonna be frying too many of them, about a tablespoon of cornstarch, and then a cup and a half of your fizzy water. I'm actually gonna do a cup of fizzy water and a half a cup of ice to really keep this batter incredibly cold. This is what our tempura batter now looks like. It seems like it actually might be a little bit thin, probably because of the flour that I'm using. I'm gonna add just a touch more. I had worked with a one-eyed chef named Beto, and he had always told me your tempura batter should really feel like slightly runny vanilla ice cream. So that's kind of the consistency we're going for. So we have a nice tempura batter. Now we gotta peel these really frozen eggs. In order to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and run these under some hot water to really get those shells off, and we'll come back to these. I have to admit, this feels kind of awkward to have frozen eggs like this. I'm gonna throw them back in the freezer just for a minute so they kind of come back together, and then we'll start deep frying these bad boys. Now I also have some soft boiled eggs. If you really want to learn how to make some amazing soft boiled eggs, these are seven minute eggs, and I learned these from my chef, Adam. I'll put the link down to his video below so you guys can check him out. He's phenomenal. So now we have our soft boiled eggs, we have our tempura batter, we're gonna need a little bit of flour itself with a little bit of cornstarch thrown in there. This is gonna be our breading station. Now we have our soft boiled eggs, our dry flour with cornstarch, and our tempura batter itself. I made this tempura batter a little bit thick to help hold all the eggs together, but it seems like it's gonna hold up really nicely. So now since my candy thermometer is actually at work, I don't have a thermometer for this oil, but you do want to reach this to about 350 degrees to start frying it. That's super important. You don't want it to be too hot. Otherwise you run the risk of it actually burning without cooking the batter. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some of the tempura directly into the oil. That way we get a gauge for how hot it is and you can kind of adjust it and play it by ear from there. It seems like my oil is a little hot. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down just a bit. That way we have a nice mellow oil around that 350 degree mark. So we have our breading station ready to go. We have our eggs frozen. We're gonna start deep frying the frozen eggs first because those are gonna take a little bit longer. And then we're gonna deep fry our soft boiled eggs because they won't take nearly as long. Well, here we go. Oh God, so our oil was a little bit hot. So obviously our oil was a little bit hot and I could feel that the egg is cooked on the inside, but what I wanna see is this went for about six minutes. I wanna see if the inside is cooked, regardless of what the tempura actually looks like. Okay, okay, that's not bad. The egg yolk is still a little frozen in the middle while the tempura is still really hot on the outside. I think if we play with the oil for just a little bit, or if you have a candy thermometer, you're going to actually get a really, really nice yolk. All right, let's try the other two. Now what you gotta do is make sure that that yolk is cooked. Otherwise, you're gonna, oh God. I mean, that's not bad looking at all, guys. It's just that is not what you want. So hopefully this color comes out a little bit nicer. I 100% burn my tongue trying that. So the thing is with deep frying frozen eggs is that you do have to wait a substantial amount of time for those eggs to cook into the middle. The reason that I don't think I would do this method is simply because I know that the soft boiled eggs that we have over there are going to be done within minutes rather than five or six. 
in any kind of a setting where you have to get these things out quickly and that'll happen, so that just exploded, you don't want that to happen at all. I mean, at the very least, it looks kind of cool. And now my house smells like burnt egg. Look at that. Looks like a brain exploded. This is your brain. This is your brain on Food Wars. All right, we got one more egg that's frozen. Hopefully this guy survives. It has another just about a minute left. So we have both of our eggs out of the fryer and one of them completely exploded and the other one looks like it opened up just a little bit. Hopefully the egg yolk is fine. To be honest, that is not cool. Now I wanna show you the difference between these two frozen eggs that Soma had done and just using a nice soft boiled egg. The threat of explosion is very minimal with these eggs. That's a good thing. And while those two are cooking, I'm gonna make some kimchi fried rice. So we have our kimchi fried rice and it's right down here and you can see the color difference in the eggs. But this isn't for me. We're gonna take this to the waifu who's upstairs playing video games. So hopefully she's decent. Okay, let's do this. She doesn't know I'm bringing this upstairs. Hey babe, are you decent? I brought, I brought you dinner. <laughs> okay, try it. You're gonna have to tell me if there's a difference in the eggs. Wait, there's two different ones? Yes. <laughs> Let's see that egg. Where is it? Look at that golden deliciousness. Okay, open the other one, open the other one. You can't try it, you have to open both. <laughs> this one's not as easy. <laughs> Pretty sure that one exploded. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a deep fried egg. All right guys, let's see if uh, her clothing comes off. <laughs> Try the food! Don't shimmy at me. This is terrible. <sighs> so in this house, the shimmy is as close as you'll get to her clothing explode. I want to go try some. So I want you guys to see something. This is my soft boiled egg that I had deep fried. You can see how nice and runny that yolk is. There's the other soft boiled egg, and then here's the explosion that we had earlier. Well, the wife liked it. The only thing to do is try it myself. It's hot. That's pretty delicious. Hot, hot. So all things considered, to be honest, I think freezing the egg is a little bit of a stretch for what you're really gonna do with it. The reason why I say that is because yes, it is a really cool idea, and it allows you to have a very interesting take on frying an egg. But that's not much you can do with it after you've already frozen the egg. Instead, why don't you go ahead and soft boil a dozen eggs, marinate some of them, keep some of them to deep fry, serve some of them as is. It allows you a lot more versatility. And to be honest, if I deep fry an egg again, I'm gonna go ahead and soft poach them just because, I mean, look at it. Look at that. Look how delicious, look at how golden and amazing that looks right now. All things considered, you know, Soma did a really cool thing. It was a very innovative thing. I haven't seen anything like that in quite a while, but uh, I'm gonna stick to my soft poached eggs. Let me know what your favorite way of eating eggs are. Definitely soft poaching them is one of mine. They're so easy to eat and they're really, really good this way. I wanna know your take. My name is Chef PK here on Chef Paul Makes. Get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food. Do you want some eggs? No, no, no eggs. Come here. Do you want some eggs? Do you wanna try it?